Uh, I look around the world, and you know, people. I get tickled at people's opinions about things. On you know, they think, oh man, things are really bad in America now. This world's really going down. I can't believe about all the shootings and all the different things that are going on. Why are you surprised by that? Why? Why are we surprised by that stuff? See, it's, it's worse now than it's never ever been. No, it's not. You think about Cain and Abel. Cain killed 25% of the population in the first, first period of mankind. Think about it. Was he playing his Xbox? Was he playing Call of Duty? We blame it on the games. All these games we got out now, they're too violent. Let me tell you something about games. Okay, I'm not defending games in any capacity. I know things are bloody. I don't know about you guys, but it's in every man to conquer and to stand up for good. God put that inside of us. It says that He's the Lord of the army of hosts. You know that when the Lord returns back that the blood is going to run up to the bridle of the horse's mouth? Now think about that. Now women a lot of times, they don't like to hear about all these things. But I'm telling you what, if you don't want to have a man that's going to defend you and stand behind you and stand up against the things that are bad, I'm telling you what, it's going to be a very bad world. It's going to be a very bad world around you. You've got to have people who are in control. You know, it says in Romans, the 13th chapter, that God set up the authorities that be. You remember when they fell out of the Garden of Eden? You remember what the, the first thing that God did? What did He do? He brought in two angels with flaming swords, firearms. You know, now I know this is kind of a crazy topic to be talking about in church. What's He talking about guns about in church? Well, it's important. It's important because I get, I get tickled at so many people that get religious. You know, we get religious over taking care of business. I want somebody good carrying a gun. Amen? Amen. I want somebody good doing good things. Amen. Now you say, Mike, what's that got to do with the gospel and preaching and things like that? It's got a lot to do because we're in a warfare. We're going to be in a warfare till the Lord returns. Amen. 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 Things haven't changed. Men are just as evil. Men are just as evil. Men still doing adultery. Yeah. People still living lives of homosexuality. You know, people still lying, people still cheating. We don't hear that much from the pulpit anymore. You know, we think we, we're, we're a church now of compromise. You know, instead of a church that is holy, we're a church of compromise. You know, we're a church that's casual. Just come as you are. And that's good. There's nothing wrong with coming like you are. Y'all know me wearing a suit. Dear Lord, this is killing me. I can't stand it. But, you know, I'll do this for Pastor Holland and Pastor Timothy, you know, make, make them feel good, you know. No, I'm just teasing. But, you know, you've got to come just as you are, but at the same time, where's the holiness in the house of God anymore? Where's the reverence for the altar of God anymore? Yeah. Now we just pop drinks and eat some pizza, and, you know, man, the church is laid back, got the big TV screens blaring, the rock band's playing, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. The church is evolving a lot of different things, and sometimes you have to use different tackle in your, in your tackle box to catch different fish. But the message has got to be the same. Our God is a holy God. Our God is a righteous God. He's a loving God. Why did Cain kill Abel? Why did Cain kill Abel? He wasn't, he wasn't, was he watching TV? Was there not love in the house? No, there's a devil on the loose. And the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And that's what he wants to do in your life. He wants to destroy your children. He wants to destroy your peace in your home. He wants to destroy your finances. But the Word of God says that we're more than conquerors. You've got to side up with the Word of God in every situation in your life. 